Alrighty then, hello everybody, welcome to another wonderful Inktober! My name is Priscilla, and if this is the first time you were visiting my channel, then I'll let you know that right now it is Inktober, and I plan on posting an Inktober doodle every single day of October. Now, Inktober is a fun initiation, not initiation, but a project started by Jake Parker to draw and using ink in traditional art every day for the month of October. Now, I'm following Jake Parker's prompt list and the prompt for today was Tranquil. Now, it is okay to go ahead and sketch out everything before you go ahead and ink it or in some way use ink to color it or line it. So for Tranquil, when I was thinking of Tranquil, I thought of peaceful or just completely mellowed out. And I was thinking of all these other characters that are just peaceful characters. For example, I thought of Dumbledore. And I thought how peaceful of a wizard he is. And I mean, that's that it's, it's very intriguing to think of him that way, that he is a very peaceful wizard. And I almost went ahead and I drew, uh, wanted to draw Dumbledore. But I don't know, I still might do that by the end of the day just because, I mean, I've already completed a lot of Inktober, so <laughs> I wanna, I could probably have time to go ahead and make a little doodle of Dumbledore just to kind of show um, how I think of him as tranquil. But I thought of, I was going through some just characters on my Pinterest board and looking through my doodle inspirations and I saw the Red Queen. And I don't even know why I thought of the Red Queen when I saw her as something related to Tranquil. But then I thought about Alice in Wonderland and who was in, who were the characters in Alice in Wonderland. And I thought of the caterpillar. The caterpillar smoking hookah on top of a leaf and just talking to Alice and just asking who are you? So when I thought of the caterpillar, I just thought of how mellowed he is. Just sitting on the leaves, smoking hookah the entire day, and just being completely calm. There was that one moment where he yelled in her face when he turned into a caterpillar, I mean a butterfly, and there was a moment where he just got so angry with her. Um, but he, just throughout the whole entire time, he was just very, I don't care what you have to say. And I actually read a book called The um, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and it was the origin story of the Red Queen, the Queen of Hearts that is. So it actually had the caterpillar in it, and it had a lot of awesome characters and parallels to Alice in Wonderland that the Red, the, I just call her the Red Queen because it's how I see her, it, the Red Queen went through. So, um, and in that story, the caterpillar still approached the Queen of Hearts before she was the Queen of Hearts. So she was just completely baffled on how excruciating dull he was and how boring he was and how very laid back and he didn't even care. And in the um, actual book, he was a cobbler. So he was fixing shoes and he just wasn't doing anything at all and he was losing his whole entire business because he was just completely bored and very nonchalant about anything, just smoking on his hookah and being completely peaceful in his own mind and not caring what everyone thinks. So naturally, my mind went to the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland as a tranquil character. It's interesting, I mean, I've already been on Instagram and looking at other characters in Tranquil. I think I might be the only one who comes up with the caterpillar. I don't know, leave in the comments down below if you ever thought to think of the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland as being a tranquil character. Oh, I wish there was a rude one because he'd go quite perfect with that one as well. <laughs> but let's talk about my supplies. So yesterday when I was doing the Enchanted Doodle, um, I just, I, I like the fact of maybe picking one piece of color for everything because I have all these colors now and I regretted doing all the colors on their clothes, I wish I would have just done the apple. So I went ahead and I only made the leaves the color that they are from this still in the movie. Now Alice is more in my style, but the caterpillar, I had to look at the reference for him, but I drew Alice in my style just to kind of make it my own in a way. And I really like the idea that all the humans that I'm making, I have decided to give them, you know, a little bit of blood on their face, such as blushing or their lips, or, you know, yesterday I put it on the enchanted characters, the male and female, because they all got blood in their faces, but just to give it a little bit of life to them, 
but I like the idea of singling out one color and then going in and just blacking the lighting everything else. So that's why I chose the purple leaves and I used some iridescent ink. So this iridescent ink is of sparkly white. When you turn it upwards, it might not look exactly it doesn't look like it's really solid or opaque for the designs, but as soon as you turn it to face the sunlight, then it shines perfectly and it makes it look like it's standing out, almost like it's white out in a way. And as you can see, I did use a brush pin to make everything a little bit thicker. And I'm really confused as to, I need to try this and I am going to try this. I might try it on my own, just like making another Tranquil character for Dumbledore. Is to actually go in and line and then watercolor everything as opposed to, you know, going in, sketching it out, and then coloring everything and then lining for the last bit. So, I don't know. This is what Inktober is for, just trying different techniques and trying different routes and coloring and all the fun stuff. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're having fun with Inktober so far. Thank you for joining in and listening to me and giving this a go at this wonderful challenge. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe so we can chat and talk about Inktober. I read the comments and I love looking at the comments. I might not get to respond to all, but I love reading the comments and I love talking to you guys as we go through this month together. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!